All right, hello. This will just be a really short set of notes just to get us all comfortable with at least talking about the metric system. Um, I noticed that in our pre-unit uh, quiz, um, about two thirds of us knew what our, our base units were in the metric system. Um, and I'm gonna start using those words a lot, especially this week. So this will be an introduction to those words if you don't know them. And it'll be including kind of a comparison um, between the English units that we might know very well and the metric units, which we're gonna be using in this class. Um, so these are uh, our units and our English units, I should say, and our metric uh, base units that we will be using for mass, distance, and volume. Uh, for mass, we're gonna use grams and kilograms. Distance would be meters as our base unit, and for volume would be liters as our base unit. Uh, this is a map that shows everywhere in the world that uses the metric system in blue. Um, English units are mainly just used in the United States, Liberia, and Myanmar. So not just, so not a lot of the world even uses English units. And all the scientists in the world use the metric system because it's really easy. If we all use the same units, we can all share our data and, and there'll be a lot less confusion. So that's why scientists all use the same type of units and they happen to be metric units. Um, here are some mass comparisons just to help you kind of understand what the size of a gram is, what the size of a, of a kilogram is. So one pound is equal to 454 grams and a kilogram is about 2.2 pounds. Um, so here's two small things you might uh, have at home. A mint is about 3.7 grams and a penny is about 2.5 grams. I should say a 2016 penny because a long time ago um, when pennies were made of real copper, they were a little bit uh, heavier. So a 2016 penny is about 2.5 grams. So we could see one gram is not a lot of mass. For distance, we're using meters. So one meter is about 3.28 feet. Um, we'll also be measuring things in centimeters in this class. So one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And for those people who run track, track's already kind of converted to the metric system. So if you're running uh, one lap around the track, that is about 400 meters. For volume, we're using liters. Um, and a Nalgene bottle, which we, um, we've all seen Nalgene bottles, are roughly one liter. Um, so that's about the size of one liter uh, as a reference. And then to kind of finalize uh, these set of notes, why do we use the metric system? Um, it's universal between all scientists. It makes things easier if we all use the same units. And specifically in the metric system, which we'll be going more over next week, conversions are a lot easier. Um, and in addition, in chemistry, one of the substances that we use the most is water. And at four degrees Celsius, we could see right here, one gram of water is equal to one milliliter of water, which is equal to one cubic centimeter of water. Um, so it even uh, makes sense because of that uh, to, use, to use the metric system. So um, I hope we're all comfortable using those words now, gram, meter, and liter, um, because those vocabulary words will be coming up um, quite a bit in the future.